In this pro tip, I'm going to talk about the one step that most people miss before they start painting and how to cut that out. Warning, Uncle Adam is not a professional. He's usually not even very good. Try any and all of Uncle Adam's pro tips at your own risk. Void where prohibited, Uncle Adam is not actually an uncle. I'm sure you've seen these things just as much as I have. You're online somewhere, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, and someone's showing off their finished paint job. They're like, hey, check out my super sweet paint job and uh, let me know, critique and comment below, all that kind of stuff. And you look at the picture and you're like, yeah, that is a good paint job, but nothing's going on on the base. It's just black or primer color or whatever. You maybe have got some paint that you've kind of gotten onto the base as you've been maybe painting you know, the feet, but there's no texture there. There's nothing. And in my mind, that's not a finished model if it doesn't have texture on it. Now, there have been times, as part of my constructive criticism, I've said, hey, but what about the texture on the bases? And the people have normally responded with, well, I'm going to do that later. I'm just going to throw some glue on there and I'm going to just, you know, sprinkle some sand and then I'm going to call it done. I will tell you right now, and I double checked with Sam before telling you this right now, um, there's pretty much never anybody who's ever won a crystal brush who has just put some glue on the base and sprinkled some sand on it. Now, I'm not against using sand as part of your basing technique. I use it myself from time to time. But the trick is, and here's your pro tip, put your texture on your models before you prime. Texture your base before you even lay down the first spritz of primer. And I'll tell you why. Some people think that, that just putting down sand, well, it's already sand colored. Why would I paint the sand sand colored? It's already sand colored. And that is true, but it just looks like real sand, which means that it is completely the wrong scale for a guy who's only yay tall. It just doesn't look like it's part of the model when you don't paint whatever texture you're gonna put down on your base. You need to paint the texture that's on your base. So you wanna put it down before you prime because you wanna coat it then with a layer of primer to help it stay on. A lot of people also use PVA glue to stick their sand or whatever kind of grit, kitty litter, whatever, onto the base. I don't personally do that because I have spent plenty of time as a kid peeling white school glue, PVA glue off my fingers and it comes off really easy. And I have this weird nightmare that it's all of the, it's just gonna come off in one big piece off the bottom of the model. All of a sudden there's just gonna be a big disc of, of whatever grit is just gonna come off the plastic and you're gonna be, so I always use CA glue. But beyond all of that, at least even if you use PVA or watered down PVA or whatever you wanna use, if you throw a nice layer of primer over the top of it, it's gonna you just give it that much more fortification so that it stays. And then you can paint the grit and match it to whatever color you want it to go with. Maybe you want the color to be something that's like completely complementary, you know, uh, i.e. opposite uh, from the color of your model. You want a real warmish, almost orangish tone to your grit when you've got a very blue model or whatever. But the fact is, is just to sprinkle some stuff down on there after you've gone through and done your great paint job, you're gonna run into problems. There are times, and I've done this myself, where in the process of getting the model ready, I have gotten glue on the foot and then you put some sand on there. Maybe you don't even see the glue. You sprinkle some sand or some grit or some baking soda or whatever. I've done a video in the past about different ways to base. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to base and you know, Sam, you'll also notice has done a video about different ways to base. You'll notice that both of us did that before the model was painted. That's kind of the trick is that you do it before the model is painted. The pros do it. You should try to do it as well. I understand that it's difficult. You've built this thing, you've glued it to a base, and you just all of a sudden want to start getting get painted. But you, you really want to get that extra step in there and do the texture and put that stuff in there before you prime. And then don't worry, if you get some paint from the model onto the base, you're going to paint the base last so you can cover all that up. It'll be fine. And you'll be able to make your choices and do all that stuff. Now, let's be perfectly clear. If you're doing like a, a resin effect, that goes on at the end and you don't paint over the resin in most situations. If you're doing a snow effect, there are special materials you would glue and sprinkle on and then not paint it because you, that's just, it stays the whitest then. And I get that. But in most situations, don't paint your models with nothing on the base. Texture your bases and then prime and go through all that stuff. 
unless you're one of those people who keeps the model completely separate from the base and does them separately and then glues them back together later. That's a totally different story. You are probably more pro than me and that's fine. But I just personally don't want to have to see more people who are showing off, hey, look at my new model and there's just a black plastic base and there's nothing on it. And because, you know, the thing is, is that you're like, yeah, well, I'm finished now. I'll, I'll do the texturing later, but will you really? So make sure that you put your textured stuff, get it all on there. Make, that's the last step of building. Rather than thinking of it as, oh, it's something I'll do later. Think of it as this model's not built till I've got that last piece of texture on there and then I'm gonna prime it and then I can get painting. You'll be happier if you do.